All right, guys, so headed off to Clearwater, picking up a M20 flywheel for my Beamer for the turbo setup. It should be fun. Gotta go pick up girlfriend, then we'll be on our way. Hey guys, everything got here. This is the Beamer. Um, headed over to Clearwater with um, Bay. She's holding camera. <laughs> uh, gonna go pick up an M20 flywheel for this thing because the stock flywheel can't handle it. So, see you guys soon. We are ready to go. Yeah, where are we headed? Um, it says to make a U turn on Lee Chisel Go I should have everything I need to get it um, set up. 
I'm going with a Mega Sport ECU, um, full standalone. I'm gonna switch from the air and fuel meter to a map sensor. And right now I'm running a three inch exhaust with a turbocharged um, muffler. And that's why it sounds so loud. But when I put the, uh, the turbocharger on, it should uh, quiet down a lot. Whew. So, I'm gonna post a bunch of clips, a bunch of pictures, a bunch of videos to show you guys how the car looked when I first actually got it. Um, show some videos and pictures and clips of uh, how it's now. And uh, you guys can see the complete and total difference between like the two. Uh, really, for my whole project, the part of me doing the project is basically I'm gonna build an intake manifold for the, the motor after I actually get it turbocharged. So kind of doing this out of building my own experience as an engineer because most people they pretty much go to school they do get their engineering degree but they don't have any outside experience my outside experience is me working on a cars so this is going to be me doing my own personal like learning project but also my uh, senior design project for UCF I started this about like two years ago so Hopefully when it's done, it should be really nice, fun, and fast. And um, I'll have a daily project um, weekend car. Nice thing about the whole setup that I'm doing is with the Mega Sport ECU, I'll be able to change the maps on the fly. So as I'm on the highway right now, I can switch to um, three different tunes. I'm probably gonna have like a 200 horsepower tune that's conservative, 250, and then 300 for the, the final, or the first final setup. And then after that, I'm gonna build the next motor I have at home. I have a spare motor, and that's gonna be the the motor for like 350 to 400 horsepower, and that's gonna be my daily final final setup. A lot of words. A lot of words. Yeah, she's complaining about the AC because um because race car. I don't have an AC right now because I had to take it off and I didn't feel like recharging the system before I came back up to Orlando. That's the next thing. I'm doing this in between being a college student, working on people's cars back and forth between Orlando and um, home. And um, yeah, it's kind of a lot. That's why it's take, taking me so long to finish the project itself, but it will get done. I have like $3,000 more to spend on the car, but after I do that, then I should at least be turbocharged and then I'll have slight modifications to finish the setup. Yeah. yeah. But it's getting hot in here, so windows down.
Go to your father's house. Mom, I'm hot. Go to I'm your father's hot, house. Huh? Go to your father's house. 391 LST dip inside. Should be a 410, but I'm not gonna spend the money to drive around with a 410 diff that I'm not gonna use. The 410 diff is a small case diff, so if I put that in and turbocharge it, I'm gonna blow it up. Don't wanna do that, so running the medium case 373, that can handle more power, so. That's what I'm doing with the car. Um, other modifications, uh, I'm gonna do some stuff to the interior when I get a chance. Still need to get an innovative wideband boost gauge. Um, trying to figure out if I really want another gauge. Might not be necessary for the setup that I'm doing, but should be a fun little car when it's done. Great and awesome project. I kind of wanted to just do a video to get you guys introduced to my project itself. Um, I'm gonna throw in some more clips of me driving um, and uh, give you guys a better understanding of like what this whole project is and what it's about really. I think I actually got lucky. This is the M20 flywheel off the ETA, which is slightly heavier than the one off the 325i, which I want personally because um, it's going to be closer to the weight of the stock dual mass flywheel. So we're um, steps closer to getting my Beamer turbocharged. Whoa, whoa. 